Hi everyone, today I'm going to set up this prelude. I'm excited about this, but not only that, I'm going to show you how I set up a hunting bow in 9 easy steps. So the first thing I do is I check knock fit. I want it to be kind of loose and if you tap the string like this, you want it to fall off. And if it's too tight, redo it now or make a plan or get bigger knocks because it's going to bite you in the end. You don't want to set up a bow and then having to run back and redo something later. So that's the first thing you check. Okay, so the next step is attaching your arrow rest. So I've got my hand ski attached. I haven't tied it down all the way. So I'm going to check that it's straight. And I moved it quite far forward because on my veracity I talked to it and it was um, it favored a more forward arrest. So your third step in the puzzle is to attach your loop. I usually cut about four inches. I shoot a bit of a shorter loop on my hunting bows and on my target bows, and then you've got a pretty good starting point. Start with the top first, then I will check my height. So I'll just eyeball it. I like it to start off straight through the burger button. Right. There, then I can just give it a tug to just to tighten it up a little bit. I won't attach it all the way. I usually put up a knocking point um, at the bottom. If you don't attach knocking points, which I do recommend though that you do, you can tie the loop down now, but I'm just gonna do the knocking point. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do a knocking point now. I usually use um, BCY 3D for that and that works pretty good. So I put the knock in just below the the loop, then just to get us as a starting point, I will do the first over and under knot. But then I just want a bit of wiggle space. Then I will take the knock out, and then you just go over and under for a little bit, and you run it down towards the the string stop side. I'll do this a couple of times. And then I do it about probably seven times. Then I go back over the knots I just made. I run it back up again till I get to the top. I try to get it flat on the arrow side where it knocks just to so there's no like weird serving going over there. Okay, so then when I'm halfway again back, I'll do a knot, like a normal over and under knot, then I'll do another over that again to finish it off. And I will just pull it tight. And then I will just take a ladder. I'll take the two loose ends. I will start burning it and then I'll just put my finger on it, like that. So what I usually do then is I just put a, a dab of super glue on this, on the knot, and I'll just turn it and just spread the super glue over the knot. And this makes it hard and it makes it last longer, and then I'll just let it dry. So step four, I'm going to put in my Amsky inside peep. So I usually do it like just about five and a half inches in the shorter axle to axle bows. So if you're using a Amsky peep or a speciality with two slots, just make sure it's on the right slot. On the shorter axle to axle bows, you usually want it on the sharper angle, the 37 if you want it 
if you're shooting a long axle axle you want it on the 45 um, also determines your rolling but there's a chart to work it out just make sure you have it on the right spot the bottom line is if you have it at full draw you want it to be level with the sight not looking up or down so step five is we'll add the rest of the accessories on here Okay, so step six is to check your draw length and just to check the peep height. So don't shoot it now before tying your peep in. Just for safety, you always want to tie a peep in before you shoot it. Okay, so step seven is tying in the peep and I also go over and under on this, but what I do is I go through twice. Let me just show you that again. I go through one, two, and then I go over onto the slot top, and then I go one, two, through, and then top again, one, two, That should be about enough and then I finish it off the same way and I just make another knot I just make sure it's in the center when you tie it down and just pull it tight okay to finish it off I will burn the ends again like I did with this knock set I just put this electrical tape here for just for protection then I make it so it makes two neat bundles I can take all this you, you want to be careful not to burn your string and that's the around the peep section. I don't like to tie it, there are other ways of doing it, you know, like there are videos where you go in between through the string. I don't like to do that because I find that it rocks then, you know, when it's in the string and it doesn't like kind of settle like this. So I like this way. And then I will we'll also tie it top and bottom now. Okay, so now we're gonna do the top and bottom serving. That. I want to move it a bit closer. There. Okay, so now we're going to do the bottom side. Step eight is paper tuning. So 
to give your broilers and or mechanicals the best chance to fly similar to your fuel points you'll need to paper tune the bow and there are this is a whole new video on its own so i'm just going to go through the basics of it so if you have a vertical tear say it's so high there's a lot, few things you can do you can lower your knocking point you can raise your arrow rest you can slow down your top cam timing um, or you can speed up your bottom cam timing or you can adjust your launch attention so um, and then yeah for a low tear you can do the opposite move your knocking point up lower your arrow rest or speed up your top cam timing or slow down your bottom cam timing and then you can also adjust your launch attention but if your arrow shoots through to the right you're going to move the you're going to move the cam over to the right by shimming or moving it or you can twist up your yokes if you uh, if you if your bow has yokes so you'll put in the press and you'll put half a twist in the top half a twist at the bottom or a full twist at the top full twist at the bottom depending on how severe the tear is and then you'll, you'll reshoot it and see um, if it improved and then same if it's left you just do the opposite you either twist the left yokes or you move the cam over to the left and that's basically it you can do fine tuning with arrow rest you know if it's like a quarter inch or you know tear you can you can move the rest um, and that's the basics of paper tuning until you get it to shoot a bullet all through paper okay guys now it's time for the most fun and that is step nine and that is sighting in your bow or zeroing your, your sight. I'm not going to make this over complicated. This is supposed to be a short video. You know, you start on your the shortest distance you'll be shooting and then you move to the max. But one tip I can give you is move back systematically. Don't shoot on 20 and then go back all the way to 70 and then expect you're going to hit the butt. And then also when you start, start off close. So you make sure you hit the butt, then you move back to 20. You know, just keep in mind, you want to try and not you know right off your arrows like before you even you know started shooting so yes guys that's it for today and um i hope this is going to help you if you have any questions just pop them in the comments i will answer them and then yes thanks for watching and good luck with your hunting setup